Laporan seterusnya, Institut Penyelidikan Tanah Gambut Tropika Sarawak, Tropi, telah mendapat pencapaian cemerlang pada 2023 sekaligus memperkukuh kedudukannya sebagai institusi penyelidikan utama dalam pengurusan tanah gambut. Menteri Pendidikan, Inovasi dan Pembangunan Bakat Sarawak, Datuk Sri Roland Sagawi In berkata, salah satu pencapaian utama Tropi adalah penyertaannya dalam projek penyelidikan rangkaian kelestarian keanekaragaman biota tanah, BOEN, yang diterajui oleh Universiti Leipzig, Jerman. Dalam hal ini katanya, penemuan daripada projek ini tidak hanya akan memajukan penyelidikan saintifik dan pengetahuan tentang gambut tropika tetapi juga menyumbang kepada pelaksanaan amalan pembangunan dan pengurusan lestari di kawasan gambut. This global initiative aims to track and assess soil biodiversity over 10 years with 90 countries involved. We are proud to be the only scientific agency in Malaysia to be invited to participate in this research collaboration. In addition, Tropi has been invited to participate in the Living Lab for Wetland Forests, or LIV4. This is not Chinese. Eh? Project and the pitland N20 this in honor of my constituency of N20 Tarat by actually Tanshri speaker it is read as N2O not N20 <laughs> meaning nitrous oxide <laughs> it is an international collaboration with the University of Tartu in Estonia, the University of Helsinki in Finland, and the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany. These projects are funded by the prestigious European Research Council, ERC, and aim to gain a comprehensive understanding of methane and nitrous oxide emissions from global peatlands that is between temperate and tropical peatlands. Beliau berkata demikian semasa sesi penggulungan kementeriannya pada persidangan Dun Sarawak ke-19 pada Isnin. Ahli Dewan Undangan Negeri Adun Tarat itu menambah selain kerjasama penyelidikan antarabangsa, Tropi juga telah mencapai akreditasi ISO 17025 untuk makmal kimianya. Establishing an ISO 17025 accredited chemistry laboratory, laboratory is essential to support the Sarawak Environmental Bill which has just been passed by this honourable house, by this august house. Such a laboratory that meets international standards plays a crucial role in improving the verification and validation of carbon credits. This will also ensure that Sarawak's climate change efforts are based on sound science and reliable data to achieve our net zero carbon emissions by 2050.